Ladies, this is what men need, but they're not going to tell you. We're going to give you three things that men need that you'll never hear out of their mouth to keep them hooked on you. And I can already hear the ladies like, why is it about him? Why is it about what he needs? Blah, blah, blah. Ladies, feminine intelligence. When men have what they need, you get what you need. That's so true. We're using wisdom here. And also, ladies, actually have to first give you what you need mm -hmm. in order for him to have what he needs. And that might sound confusing, but just stick with us. And for those lovely ladies that are new here, what's up? I'm Natasha. And I'm Brian. I was a former single mom with four mm -hmm. kids, went through a whole bunch of trauma and loss. If you're interested in learning more about dating and relationships and feeling good in your body again, I'm talking your hormones, your nervous system, all that. That. Click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our videos and content. Let's break it down. So number one is what, baby? Number one is men need space and men time. Even myself, I'm having four kids, yep. a wife, <laughs> working from home. We're yeah. always around each other, and it's a great thing. But at the beginning of the day for me, I need to just go for a drive, right? I need 15 minutes to an hour, go for a drive look at the scenery, clear my mind so it can prepare me for the day. And one thing that can happen is sometimes women will think that it's rejection. Mm -hmm. They'll think that it's something personal, mm -hmm. but men need that space and time to themselves where they can process, prepare like men, just like women, I'm sure, but men have a lot that they're processing in their mind all day, mm -hmm. being in their masculine, masculine energy, yeah. right? Masculine energy. So for me taking that drive, just kind of helps me get prepared for the day. And it could look different for everyone, yeah. right? Some men have their men cave. They just yeah. go sit in there. <laughs> some men go work out, yeah. which we go work out together. But some men just like doing things by themselves. But it's not them rejecting you. Yeah. It's just them being healthy, making sure they're coming to you whole. Men need that space and time daily. Because I know even in the morning, women need it as well. You do your thing. Yep. You script, you pray, yep. we pray together, but then I go out and you go in your own space yeah. just to have your time so you can prepare for the day as well. So exactly what you're saying, the reason why we're telling you this, ladies, is because if you are wounded, you're going to take that as rejection. If you haven't healed your masculine energy wounds, you're going to take it as, what is he doing? Where is he going? How come he needs to do all this? Is he talking to somebody else? Right? First of all, we're assuming you're in a healthy relationship. Yes. Okay? We're in a very healthy marriage. There's no trust issues. Yes. But also understanding how men are wired is so important. They actually hormonally need space away from us. Yes. This is often why men become very feminized mm -hmm. is they're always with women so men actually need to be with other men yes. and they actually need time away from you yeah. to help restore their testosterone to actually restore their masculine energy and if you don't believe me just look at the sperm once again it needs that space it needs that distance to travel mm -hmm. so if you're finding that for example if you're married and your marriage has been kind of neutralized it's not as juicy as it used to be one thing that will help with that polarity is actually having time apart mm -hmm. he needs time to miss you he needs time to just be in his masculinity and that's what's going to actually attract yeah. him to you now every time he wants to have some man time maybe it's he wants to watch sports he mm -hmm. wants to hang out with his guy friends he wants to go for a drive if you're always at yeah. him like well you haven't done this you haven't done this or why are you doing this what are you doing blah, 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 blah. you are going to stress him out and repel him mm. and not in a healthy way babe yeah. or you know he will reluctantly stay with you but you're actually going yeah. against his nature okay so if you want a masculine energy That's man so you need to give him space and support him encourage him to hang out with healthy men encourage him to have time to himself to recharge because baby girl he will be a much healthier and happier husband for you number two men need sex and intimacy yes so for my married couples it's important that yeah, we we're, we're talking to the married yes. couples just to clarify <laughs> that it's important that we <laughs> stay intimate sexual right you don't have to have sex daily but it's important that we have a regular sex life yeah. Because without it, then the man starts to naturally pull away, mm -hmm. right? It doesn't feel the connection. Mm -hmm. And a lot of questions start arising on his end. It could be like, okay, is he satisfying you? It could be, um, are mm -hmm. you attracted? Like it's things. It's like a respect issue. Exactly. If you don't have a normal sex life, then like you said, the man can feel disrespected because that's such a big part of who we are. 
that if we're not getting it, then it's like, well, you don't respect this part of my life, mm -hmm. right? You don't respect the fact that this helps me, mm -hmm. you know, it helps me energize it. It yeah. helps me feel like a man. Yeah. So, and if you're not married, it's important to have an intimate relationship. If you're dating for marriage, if you're engaged, intimate in a sense of it may be cuddling, it may be praying together, yeah. it may be holding hands, right? It may be having deeper conversations that go past the surface. Right. Something that connects you on a newer, on a higher level than just, okay, just having conversations. So men need that intimacy Married men need the sexual, the normal sex life, three, two, three, four times a week, whatever it is. Because most men don't need sex every day. Yeah. But they just need that consistent knowing that you're into them, knowing that you're respecting them, that part of their life. And they just need to know that this relationship is healthy. Yep. And that's a, that's a way to show that this health relationship is healthy. So for ladies, this is so important because I, oh my gosh, I totally understand how women are, moms especially, you're exhausted. You're like, I'm exhausted, I'm tired. The last thing I want to do at the end of the night is do anything. I just want to mm. go to sleep, <laughs> <laughs> right? But that is going to cause a lot of issues mm. in your married life, okay? So one thing that I encourage my girls to do, the number one thing you can do is actually just support your hormones, support your libido. There's simple things you can do, ladies, like adaptogens, ashwagandha, some maca, your hormones will be very happy mm. you're going to start to feel in the mood that's one thing another thing is just getting out of your head mm. ladies getting out of your masculine energy that is a big reason why your libido has gone down and you don't feel attracted to him we talk to a lot of women that struggle with this yeah. they're like i don't feel attracted to my husband right now and the first thing i'm going to ask you is first of all how's the energy dynamics are mm -hmm. you in a mothering energy with him because if you're in a mothering energy you're not going to feel attracted to to your husband are you just overthinking are you exhausted how's your hormones those are simple things you can do babe that will help your intimacy life and baby girl it's not just for him this mm. is for you these are signs of health for you healthy libido and a healthy love life yes. is so healthy for you too babe okay it will keep you guys bonded together so super super important exactly so we're going to number three sounds good baby number three is kind of a connecting right like a two-part and it's what men need is challenges and appreciation mm -hmm. now when i say okay. challenges i'm not saying you need to challenge them right <laughs> <laughs> you, you need to stress them right <laughs> no stress we don't need you to come up with a list to give to them like okay here's some challenges get all of this fixed <laughs> We don't need a list, right? We need men come up with their own challenges. It's enough as a man, right? It may be fixing something around the house. It may, it may be their own DIY project. We need this because this gives us that sense of like we're a man. We're doing stuff. We're fixing stuff, right? We're getting things together. For me, I love putting schedules together, yeah, right? That's my challenge, right? Okay. Where are we going? When are we going there? How much are we trying to spend? It's a challenge, <laughs> right, to see if I could get all of this under a certain time frame, you know, get everything that we're looking to get, that I can get it done. That's just one of the challenges that I love. But whatever his challenge that he loves, just appreciate it, right? If he does it, just say, oh, you did a great job, mm -hmm. right? How did you do that? I couldn't do that, that quick or that easy. You're so smart. <laughs> And you might be able to do it better than him. But showing appreciation doesn't mean that you're lying to him. Yeah. It doesn't mean that you're making stuff up. You're just appreciating the effort that he took to put into it because that's what we draw off of. Mm -hmm. And as you appreciate that, he'll build you a car from scratch if yes. you show that type of appreciation, right? Yes. Men will go out of their way if they're feeling appreciated. We're in a sense, we're like kids. <laughs> Right, where you're, if you, you're playing for points. Yes, you show us appreciation. That's like giving us a gold star. Yeah. Now we're about to do more, so we can get more appreciation. Yeah. So we can just be like walking on cloud nine. Yes. Men are simple, as I always say, and it doesn't. You don't have to overthink it, overcomplicate it. You show appreciation to a man and allow men to fight challenges. Right. Don't step in and say, "Okay, I'll do it for you." Right. No, this is a challenge. It could be opening up a, a jar. Yes. As little as opening up a jar. Opening up a door. Yes. Opening a door. 
it could be something as small as that or it could be something huge where it's like they have to fix something in the house or fix a car or something like that. Your job is just to show appreciation when they do it. If they do it great, if they do it okay, show appreciation for effort and you'll get so much back on the other end from the man. Love this. So ladies, appreciation is food for masculine energy. Okay, even God says, come to God with praise and thanksgiving. Yeah. Masculine energy runs off of our appreciation. Mm -hmm. So even the smallest things. I just want to reiterate the challenges part. Just think of the sperm once again. They like competition. They yeah. like challenges. They want to conquer things. And they play for points. Yeah. Right? The points is what keeps them going. This is why men love sports yes. and hunting and stuff. They're always looking for points. Mm -hmm. And so when I talk to ladies that are like, yeah, but he doesn't do anything. He just sits on the couch. And I hear this all the time from ladies he's probably beaten down, mm. okay? You might have, and I'm not blaming this on you, I don't know your relationship, but I do know how men are wired, and I do believe that men, most men have that in them, that's mm. how God has wired them. But if they've been beaten down to yeah. the point where nothing is good enough, you're always coming at them, you're constantly criticizing, constantly yeah. trying to fix them, pointing out what they, they've done wrong, maybe they've done something, but then you're pointing out how they could have done it better, mm. they're going to withdraw from you. Okay, they might not fight with you, they might not say anything, but they're just gonna withdraw. Baby girl, promise you, you stop doing that yeah. and you just start feeding this man with appreciation like, you are my hero. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, David, tell me what else you want. Exactly. You want to go on vacation? What else do you want to do? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just, just tell them more. Yes, and it's good for you, babe, so you're not stressing out and trying to control and burning yourself out, and it's good for him. It's how God's wired both of us. You need to learn how to receive mm. and be in appreciation because what you focus on grows. Mm. What you appreciate, appreciate, yeah. including your husband and your future husband. All right, we love you girls. If you need help with any of this, we'll drop some links below because yeah. we want you to walk around healed and whole in a healthy relationship and not triggered mm. and insecure and stressed in your nervous system and stressing him out too. Okay, we love you girls. We love you. Action. Action. <laughs>